<laughs> Thank you, Craig. Lee Tracy. I graduated from the Art Institute uh, in 1989. I've been making art for 20 years and surviving on that, sometimes uh, month to month and sometimes not. And I just i uh, am very happy and uh, I think that I'm able to remain calm uh, through it all, and even those times that you mentioned, uh, we were, it can get scary, but after 20 years, um, I've never missed a meal, I've never, uh, I've always had clothes, and um, I've had a bed to sleep in, and that keeps me going, you know, and um, so I, I painted when I first got out of school, and um, now I do everything, so to me, uh, I used to call myself a painter. Now I say I'm an artist, and that's a license to do anything. And I do uh, high, high art all the way to low art. So I have uh, spread myself uh, wide, um, and that is working to uh, keep me secure and also uh, to protect my creativity and have freedom in my art, that it is mine. Um, and that's very important to me. I am on her uh, Nico's gallery now, and that's new because I don't usually uh, invite in a, an intercessor. I left the gallery system because um, I showing the opening wasn't the fun part. Making the art is the fun part. I also don't mind having people come in and selling my art. Um, I'm not afraid to put a price on it. I'm not afraid to write up an invoice. Um, I, I can't even understand what's so scary about it, <laughs> you know? Uh, but I hear that a lot of artists say that they can't conduct uh, survival sustainability. It's, to me, it's like exchanging buttons or salt, um, and everybody does it. Salt from, you know, we trade salt on the shelf. Okay, so, <laughs> I have salt in my bag. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, what you see here is there. Yeah. So I have additions. I don't have originals on uh, Nico's uh, gallery site. I have additions. And um, here in the picture you see more additions. I make books. Um, and uh, in editions of five or 18, depending on what the method is. So uh, I have these in my studio, sign and number, and I take trips and do these installations that um, the, the product ends up being the books or a photograph. Here I have material. Uh, there I traveled. I do fabric, uh, these long-term projects, so they aren't even done, and I, I make sure that they're long-term because if I put a, a time or a deadline on it and didn't meet it, then uh, I think it, I would feel bad. So it's open-ended. Um, and the high art, are, it's full room installation, so what do you sell? It has to be the whole room, so it's created and stored. Um, and the price tag would be high. So that's not something that I can uh, reach people with with these uh, full room installations. Here's another one. These brain boxes here, that's my brain. Uh, they were online on Etsy because I ran an experiment. I uh, wanted an opinion of Etsy, but I didn't want my opinion to be based on things that I heard. Um, you need to jump in and try things and gather your own opinion. And frankly, I love Etsy, and you're gonna hear more about that. But here is an installation. Uh, it's all packed up, the originals. I made editions of the brain boxes. They were on Etsy as a test. Now they're in uh, Nico's gallery. Um, and I'm really thrilled with this new relationship. Um, this is my studio. It's an old boiler room. It's uh, big. Um, I happened upon it and was fortunate, and I have to work 
very hard now because uh, uh, the rent was increased due to everyone in this climate. And uh, actually, the landlord said he wanted to introduce me to the real world. And I, <laughs> I don't really want to go, but he's been so kind to me. I just thought, all right, I'll pay the rent. But it is hard. Um, I moved things around. That's a movable wall. I took that apart. Uh, everything's on wheels. Because if I have this huge space uh, on my site, it's available um, for uh, rentals, for parties, cocktail parties, birthday parties, and I just uh, clean it up. Or I don't, because some people just like to come in the studio. Um, and you can see here, local market. I'm, I'm a green artist, I'm a green citizen, and I do what I can uh, for the green uh, movement. Uh, that's the studio, another portion cleaned up, and I always, I can have my art up, sometimes it's in the background, it's secondary, or the lights are low, no one notices, but in the end, as people come through the studio, it, it's still something that uh, can come back around somehow, you know, it's all sort of magical, and I think the, the point is to put yourself out there. Um, here's an installation, why is that in there? <laughs> I did it. I don't know why. Um, oh, it's just a, a, this is something I'm working on, 100 Tears. It's a long-term project. And again, people come in and they see this. And uh, I am writing up a little plaque so um, they can read about it, too. This is part of the studio in a different way. Uh, here's one of the fairs in the studio. Can you say more about the fairs? Uh, vendors, uh, I'm working with Mimi's Organic Exchange.com, and she's a friend of mine, and uh, she takes applications and uh, runs these uh, fairs, among other things, uh, with music and um, holistic uh, services. So uh, we've been working together to get this um, off the ground. So it's an opportunity. Um, for craftspeople, artists, services um, to come together and yeah, they get a booth charge. What is it called? Mimi's Organic Exchange. Dot com. We have a question over here. What's the address? Eight five five West Blackhawk. Near the near the new Whole Foods. And a thirty two story house. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Can you please tell me who drives traffic to the Mimi. Mimi sends out press releases. We're um, online. Huh? Online press releases. We're she has a press release on her site. Um, and she's out making phone calls. She makes phone calls and she goes out and uh, she passes out cards. It's a good uh, mix because she goes out more than I do. <laughs>